At this point, we're going to begin adding more pages to our website. So I'm sitting here on my home page. It's been saved, and you can tell that because I've got my pencil icon here, which would allow me to edit the site. So I'm obviously not doing that right now. And then it's also got this plus and then a page icon. So that's how I add more pages to my site. I'm going to click that icon. And I'm going to call this one Instructor Info or Teacher Info or About Me. Any of those is fine with me. And we're going to keep it at the top level, which means that it's just as important as all the other pages. It's not like a sub page of any of the others. When I'm done, I just click Create. And I've got this new page, and you can see that it defaults to Edit Mode. So in the Instructor Info page, I'm going to put a picture of myself some information about myself, like my background, biography, those kinds of things, and um, my contact information. So, again, to insert a picture of myself, I go to the Insert menu, and I choose Insert Image. I'm going to choose a file, and I'm going to grab a headshot I have. Now, you can grab any picture you want. Just try to make sure that it's semi-professional. So you could have one with your family or you on a trip or something like that is fine. You just don't want yourself on, at a party or something like that. Just keep it fairly professional. Alternate text is nice for our students who are using screen readers. Um, this will uh, read out what the picture is of for those students. So that's kind of nice to do. There we go. Click OK. And again, you can resize that picture if you'd like. And on this one, I am going to use wrap text because that'll allow me to type out to the side. So I'm just going to put some information in there. You might want to go ahead and have your biography on a Word document or something to that effect. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it off of my other website that I've got going on here. There we go. So I'm just going to grab this text, copy it, paste it. There we go. Try to make sure that your fonts are all the same type and size. Okay. So I'm just going to select everything. And in this case, I'm just going to give it a normal 10 point font. There we go. So it all looks the same. Make sure things are lined up. I want to have my contact information on there. And that's about all you need to do for this page. So a picture of yourself, your biography, and your contact information. Be sure to read the assignment description for a little bit more information about what I expect in these areas. But otherwise, the skill set is almost exactly the same as the home page. We type, we add a picture, in this case, I wrapped text around it, and that's certainly up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then I put in contact information. Those are the bare requirements. Now, if you want to, you can certainly add additional elements. You could add videos. You could add Picasso slideshows. There's a lot up here in the insert area that you could play with. Um, so you can see over here under insert, we've got YouTube videos that you can add. We have Picasa web slideshows, which we'll play with a little bit here in class. Um, so there are a lot of other options. I'm just requiring a couple things from you, keeping it simple, just so you feel comfortable with the technology, and then you can play with it at your leisure. All right, that's how you create your instructor info page. Save it, and we're done.